Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime Scene Cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. My name is Laura Spaulding and we are here in Brandon, Florida in front of our 2020 Holiday Hoarding Giveaway recipient. And we're really going to be able to change this person's life by giving her a brand new beginning. We're going to get rid of all this trash, the uh, high ammonia from all of her cats. Thank you everyone for uh, being here for our 2020 Holiday Hoarding Giveaway. I really appreciate it. Let the games begin. Go. Oh yeah. I think we had it. about 20 volunteers tears here uh, she can't find her shoes she has no bed to sleep in so i think these cats are never let out they're pooping in their own cage this is not good does this one get let out at all ever no oh my god <laughs> how long has this home been oh, this for home about 25 home. years See this one oh this is probably God. the biggest spider we've oh, seen oh, on a there. site so far oh, oh, here comes laura laura hates oh, spiders so she this is the worst one. Oh my god. 2015. Oh. Out of all the fridges that I've done in 15 years, that was the worst. Right now, she's hyper emotional and she can't control her compulsion to just get us out and push us away because she feels threatened right now. Wait a minute. Oh my god, they only I had a thing that was here. Lady. And no, you wouldn't brought know it out to you. It's keys. God damn it! I didn't even think about that. So we are here Sunday, the beginning of day two for our holiday hoarding giveaway. And uh, we knocked on the door and uh, woke her up and she has absolutely no memory of us being here all day yesterday. Now, on another note, we look through the window in the living room and she has moved back in all the stuff that we took out. There it is. Oh, fuck. Jesus Christ. What is that, Fiona? Why is its neck like, oh god, it's turned around. Oh, oh look at that, baby. Oh, holy shit. 100, 330, 350, baby. More, baby, more. You're making it rain. I'm making it rain. Look at that, baby. What do you have? 350 dollars <gasps> was in that drawer. How'd you, look at this. Oh my god. There's the body. Look. Oh. <laughs> it's moving. So we are here Sunday, the beginning of day two for our holiday hoarding giveaway. And uh, we knocked on the door and uh, woke her up and she has absolutely no memory of us being here all day yesterday. So that tells me that yesterday was extremely traumatic for her and she's blacked it all out. Now, on another note, we look through the window in the living room and she has moved back in all the stuff that we took out. So her living room is rehoarded, and to avoid duplicity, we're just gonna move everything to one side and finish those back bedrooms. Unfortunately, there's no landfills open today because it's Sunday, so we're gonna have to stage more trash, and then Monday, first thing in the morning, we'll grab uh, these dumpsters and dump them and get rid of them. But this is part of the mental challenge in dealing with hoarders is, uh, and this is another reason why as per policy, we typically never leave our dumpsters here, but we didn't have a choice on this one because we have nowhere to dump it and we, you know, we're stuck. So when this happens, it allows them to go in and dumpster dive. And that's exactly what she did. I knew we were in trouble when I showed up and I saw a ladder propped against the dumpster. So I knew she had been in there looking through stuff. She looks disheveled, she hasn't showered, she has no memory of anything, but she is in a very good mood as opposed to yesterday when she was frantic. Um, she's actually seems to be in good spirits. We're removing the cats as we speak. Uh, they're still in their cages. Code enforcement is gonna come by with some litter boxes and litter, so hopefully that'll help. But I don't think we're gonna get the opportunity here to do our normal deep clean transformation because she's not letting us keep everything out of the house. So that's unfortunate, but at least we are, we could feel good about removing all the trash 
and uh, making this a little better for her to live in. So that that's, we can only do what we're allowed to do. Oh, this is from 1992. Yeah, you're gonna find a lot of stuff like that. Well, hi, my name's Kennedy. I'm going to be Spalding Decom's new social media strategist. Have you ever seen anything like that before? I wouldn't say to this level. We're excited to have you. I'm excited to be here. Sweet. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's what I've been trying to be diligent into. I didn't know I had one in there like that. All right. Is it all pennies or is there silver in there? Mm, it, it may be all pennies. It may. But that's all right. You a coin star, you get a few bucks. You know? Yeah. A lot of pennies. Do they do pennies anymore? They were saying the other day they don't do pennies. I'm like, how are uh, pennies not count? Uh, do you want to brush after you eat? Since you just used Listerine, let's brush after we eat. Sandwich. Okay. Oh, there's a light. This is fragile. Fragile. Okay. All right. All right. There it is. Oh, fuck. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Oh, uh, Fiona. Oh, God. Oh, Get the shoe, Evan. Move your head. I'm not taking the camera off. Turn around. Get the fucking shoe. Oh. 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 Fucking hell. Where'd he go? God damn. Oh, oh, God. Man. Oh, God. 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 Oh, oh my. What is that? Why is its neck like, oh God, turn around. Oh, oh look at that, baby. Oh, fuck Holy yeah. cow. Wow. wow. We found the mother load for her. Is it real? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Look at that, ready? Holy shit. 100, 50, 70, 90, 330, 350, baby. She is going to be so happy. I am about to make your day. What do you have? $350 was in that drawer. How do you... How I went ones? through all your from? mom's bills. 1991 envelope. How did I not find that? I'm good. Look it's at even that. Got a, it's even got a rusted yeah. Yeah. paper. God bless you. Thank you. That's good. I looked desperate. Because that's how I was making it a long time. I know. When I found out about this stuff and I started going, eating yeah. the change. And then I was humiliated. As skinny as you are, that'll feed you for a year. <laughs> I was humiliated. That would about feed the, me for like I was humiliated. Yeah. <laughs> I was humiliated about the change thing. And I got down there and I found that Walmart had converted at that time, ironically. I'm going through every envelope, so I'll find more. Yeah. I'm hoping because. We're finding more in the other rooms too, as well. So okay, we this is awesome. In addition to the cash from yesterday that was in that container, I mean, you're you're going to have probably over $500. Yeah. On the cats, the cats are the main thing. They're like, ka -ching. That means we yeah. have the continuous bags coming through. We can oh. eat. Uh, <laughs> Christine's going to stop by too with some kitty litter and some um, boxes. Thank you. Yeah, because then if you give them clean boxes, they'll stop shitting everywhere. Yes. I don't know if they're doing that because of stress or uh, they always have had the litter box thing in there. But they, if the cats are so clean, they yes. want to have a clean. If you literally you don't pick it up, it. they'll stop using it. You got to yeah. clean it like twice a day. That's oh, why I don't I have any know cats. why they don't like that one. Because of the money thing, I had to go to that. God, I hate it. That non-clumping one that's clay litter. Yeah. Well, we're going to get the good And I heard the stuff. ladies with the cat yeah. stuff that have to do the cat call yeah, yeah, and all yeah. that, they have to use the clay and they're not happy with it either. Yeah, yeah. We're, get, we're, we're so bringing the, the good stuff. stuff, you're pulling the stinky stuff out so yeah. it's still fresh and they're yeah. good with it. They go to that clay litter and they'll look at me and they're like, yeah. what's the deal? Yeah. This is yucky. Yeah. One more. Look at that. This is my favorite part. It's finding money like this to give back to them because it's like Christmas came twice. Once for the cleanup, and then they get paid back for it. This is why you don't hire a junk removal company. They will literally just come in and throw all this shit away. Yep. And this will go in a landfill, as opposed to be searched through like it should be. Woo! -hoo! More, baby, more. Look at this. Coming through, coming through. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. More, baby, more. You're making it rain. I'm making it rain. Oh, do you have to make green stuff? Oh my gosh! They're old time uh, coupons that you went into the store. Yeah. S and H food stamps. Those were the biggest thing. A quick save book, a little trip back into history for some of the older folks. Uh, you had all these stamps, and you go buy something. They're actually family. collectible now. They're highly collectible. Yeah, let's keep those for her. We'll put them in a picture thing. Oh, oh 
Oh, look at this. Holy cow. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, my gosh. Making it rain. Look at this. Here. She's going to be so thankful. Oh. I let her know as well. Look at that, baby. Oh, yeah. Look at that. So I let her know. I said, think about it this way, Hollis. You can trust us because look at the amount of dollars we're finding and we're giving it to you. We're not you know, uh, holding on to anything. We're not pocketing anything, whether it's a dollar or a quarter. We are giving it to her. And uh, she was very thankful. And now the fact that Laura's found even more, I think she's going to, she's going to be completely besides herself. Yeah. Um, of course, she mentioned now her cats can eat. So we want to make sure that she is going to feed herself as well and not just, just her cats. We want to make sure that she's taken care of too. So. Oh, look at her. Beautiful. Back in the day, baby. Oh, yeah. We're going to collect all this and then put it together and do a big count and see how much we can get for I'm really hoping for like $7.50. That would be awesome. All this money was in here for the last 20 years, and she had no idea, and she was struggling. This is amazing. Uh, we found a bunch of paint canvases. Uh, it looks like Hollis went to school for art, and we found these just in the bottom of the back room. Figured this is something that'll mean a lot to her. So we'll be keeping these. There's an easel back there. I wonder if we could... Let's take a look here. Oh, uh, true. We can set this up. Yeah. This will be great. I'm gonna let her know. I have seen some of your oh God, photographs. You are kind very of talented. Yeah. And, and but photographic. Yeah. All the it was kind of like, excited. you know, I let yeah. them know that you were missing. It, it, it takes a talent. Oh, you, and you got to see like over there at the campus. Yeah. yeah. Like the ones that did the painting and the drawing and everything. And they're so young because I was like an old buzzard there. And they're just like so natural at what they did. And that's when I realized I'm out of my league. I don't need to be doing this. Oh my God. Even the photography, they're young and spunky and doing all I mean, their photography was great, and I was like, okay, I just need to stay at that corporation I'm working at and just keep plugging away being with customer service and oh, helping our stores and stuff. Oh, no. <laughs> Where did you work? At Ace, uh, right out of high school, too. Yeah. I worked at a trucking thing for a short time, and then I got to get into Ace Hardware Retail Support uh -huh. Center up on 301. Okay. So it was working in the warehouse while then it was customer service. I love the, the dealers we have are wonderful. Sure. They care about everything, and so it was just such a great, great a fit. Yes. A good fit. So I loved it. And the only reason I left her for a thing was is because when mom was at End of Life, I quit my job. When it looked like I quit my job to take care take of mom care. full time because yeah. I made daddy the promise. By the time it was all over with, I was not in the place to where I could go back sure. to get into my job or anything like that. Sure. Well, you certainly have the, the, the skills love... and the personality for working with people. Yes. My goodness. No, I love doing that part of it. Yeah. I love working with our stores and seeing they got what they wanted. And the yeah. best part was we got everything at discount. That's why there's so much stuff. Because oh. <laughs> you can get it like at, at almost at cost. Yeah. And there's a smorgasbord of stuff. Some of it was once a year thing. Yeah. Like, and, then, and you could just get it for next to nothing. And I love that kind of stuff. That's the best for working for retail. I like that word you used, a smorgasbord. Yeah. Hi. I'm Leanne Moore. I am a senior move manager and owner of a stressless transition. Uh, I have had the opportunity to work with Laura over the past eight years or so, and I focus on the single person who is downsizing and moving and also work with families who are dealing with a house full of stuff, a lifetime of accumulations after someone has passed away or moved. I tend to work with what I call the collectors and savers who are at the lower end of the scale. This particular situation is a level five. However, I have had some similar situations with the animals, particularly cats that have kind of taken over the inside as well as uh, life events having happened and it's easier just to close the door and um, not deal with what has been accumulated. But I know my limits and when I need to call Laura. What is this? Oh my God. Here's the body. What? Oh. What? It's moving. Oh. She was keeping these eggs in tins. Were they fertilized? Uh, it looks like it. Oh my god. Oh. Oh wow. That's a whole little sack. Yeah. It's yeah. like a placenta. Yeah. What does it feel like? A rock. Part is a rock. Is that an egg? 
It was. It was, yeah. Those are what the eggs were in? Yeah. And they're like a smaller breed of chicken that Oh, do see, the I thing. thought you were incubating them or something because they were no. wrapped in We found a lot of a lot of like chicken decorations and stuff in there. So you, you like chickens? Yes. Just, just, yeah. Even when I was a little kid, that was my very first thing is what little Henrietta Ding bat was the one where we were boarding my ponies. Sharon didn't have the place where the horses were kept. Mm -hmm. And there was the egg in there and it was, a, well, I think, a Rhode Island red. And I was just a tiny kid, probably like you, and I was like, oh, an egg. So mom showed me with the heating pad how you incubate it, and miss the little water on it, and oh, turn in the egg and all that. you water on it, huh? Yeah, because the hen has that with a sweat in her feathers. Oh. And then they'll, if you watch them, they'll turn the egg too, they sure. know. So I learned all that, so I hatched out my very first one. And where most people are under their cats and dogs, that chicken went everywhere in the rock. I carry her around. <laughs> well, I didn't take her off the premises with me, but that was my first love with the chicken thing. Oh, oh look at that. Yeah. With so much money, it's starting to look like a drug operation. Yeah, right? It may be. <laughs> Wouldn't that be hilarious if we found out that our giveaway winner was a former drug dealer. Dolores <laughs> <laughs> gonna give a final recap. You. Don't have a heart attack. Financials. But if you do, there's Financial a nurse found. on staff. Yes. Are you really a nurse? Yes. That's what's so great about it. Oh, oh, I didn't even you. know that you've got that thing like the hospice nurses that oh, help a mom and a nurse. Is... She used to work for hospice, but look at this. See this stack? We're gonna count it with you. <gasps> and it's oh. all old I have not counted this yet. It was all in one pile? Or? No, ma'am. I was here this and there. Yes. Let's let, let her, let's see how well we get. 100, 200, 60, 80, 1,000, and I still have this. And that's in addition all to the 350. Stack. All in one drawer. Laura. We are so plus get three fifty yeah. because I've been going through all this stuff. Well, like, you missed a drawer. <laughs> this was in one drawer. No, <laughs> but wait, there's, there's more. more. <laughs> 20, 40, 485, 86, 87. What do we have? 1587 right yeah. here plus 350. 50 right here. So $1,800 plus all the coins we have to count. 1800 And we're still not done. Yeah. There's plus coins. More. Well, you yeah. had some of it in birthday cards. Very the, little. The though. one open. Maybe 100 bucks total. And then the rest of it was uh, your mom was paying bills in the envelope. She had set it aside and then never made the payment. Oh, so the cats and together. the chicken are over there high-fiving each other. Yeah. It won't be easy for the chicken because she just got a foot. Please, you're, yeah. Yes, and now you're feeding yourself. <laughs> yes. Look yes. at all that. Yes. Are you sure you didn't used to be a drug dealer? No. I don't know. I was going to say a little stripper. <laughs> Look at all that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a, a good money. stripper yeah. right there. Yeah. There's a lot of yeah. ones in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 20s and 50s. You need to make sure you feed yourself, Hollis. Yes, Ooh, that's 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 beautiful. Beautiful. she brought sexy that's, back right there. That's when. <laughs> that's where all that money. That's when I worked at A. <laughs> wow. Wow. Look at that! Oh my goodness! Look at this! That was Hollis. probably the '80s or '90s. Think? I was a lot beautiful. younger then. She brought sexy there back is. there. That's where all that money Hollis. came from. Look at yeah. that! So beautiful. I want you to bam, bam. Oh my goodness! You See, guys. when I tried to strip, I had to pay them. <laughs> <laughs> the struggle was real. Yeah, the struggle was that, so real, let me tell you. And I even found your stock certificate from Ace Hardware. I found so much stuff. What's that? This is a coin. It's not a U.S. coin, but it's from 1917. Dang. Where did that come? 1917. And then here's two more coins that are very... Um, even though it's not U.S., because of the age this and what it's made Great of. This is Great Britain. Um, Fiona. Oh, yeah, what's up? It's very... 1917 Great Britain coin. Oh, we're missing that. <laughs> what is it worth? Two dollars and twenty-five cents. Is King George fourth? Fifth. Fifth. Yeah, George fifth. That's him. That's okay, right this there. is worth two dollars and twenty-five cents in How's U.S. It going? That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We flew her all the way from London yeah. to come tell us what these mean. So what's that? This is a three pence, and they don't exist anymore. Whoa. Okay. What's that? What year? Nineteen thirty-seven. This is worth it's three dollars and ninety-nine cents U.S. And that's a three pence, a half a penny. That's a thing? That's a thing. Not now. You guys spent the money to make this and it's a half a penny. <laughs> yeah, but it's like a half a penny. No, half a penny. But it's if half this was a penny. Wait, is that a hay penny? Is that what the hay penny is? I'm going to put it in the I, garage. 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 The garage. The garage. Or the car park. Laura. Hello, governor. That's Mind the gap. Says. Mind the gap. <laughs> Hi, uh, my name's Tara Schultz. Um, I'm volunteering today to help get this house a little cleaned up for the client and um, I am good friends with Fiona Mills that works for Spalding so she's the one that 
told me about what was going on and I'm a stay at home mom so I had nothing but time and I wanted to do my part to you know help just make this woman's life much better so it's crazy I've never never seen anything like it in my life oh my God. I mean, it's I not that bad that. Yeah. no Deutsch marks yep. is Deutsch mark paper or is that the coin as well so we found this briefcase and um, apparently the father, her father was a real estate agent and, and her parents. Um, it just gets more interesting the more stuff we find. Um, we're thinking now too that they owned an RV like store kind of thing. More money in the back. Less problems. Oh, it's in the back. Cashed in 1993. It was a tax, tax refund, refund and they never spent it. Wow. Oh wow. Yeah, she did this in 93. She's very talented. So I didn't touch anything that you brought in last night. Put some more keep stuff over here, and then look. Oh my God! Do you know how long it's been yes. since my roof's the lamp? Yeah, I saved your lamp. I got more change for you. I got your photos. I kept all your photos. Oh, that's age where I worked that all through the yep. years. Oh my! I saved more photos. Yeah, at this point, my wife has the only memory I can remember. Then I look at the picture. Like, oh yeah. <laughs> oh my God! All your art. Is there? I might like get rid of most of that. Believe oh, me, I'm you? not. It's I'm, really nice. You, you're talented. No, I think that had to be somebody else that was helping me at school because I just, I, I don't know why I got. Well, I found some stuff with your name on it. On a photo thing, I did that myself. Yeah. Very talented. And we're gonna move everything else in. I see what you're saying, though. A lot yeah. has to be done to yeah. keep it open Before and I airy. Clean. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. So I can't do the cleaning that I wanted to do. Wow, this there, door took. That was when that water damage happened in the water. Your bed frame. Thing. I kept your bed frame. Oh, that's what that dissolves down to. I didn't. That thing looks so massive, mm -hmm. and now it looks so tiny. So that of course fit in any room. And then I left there's the water damage from yep. the bathroom that seeped up the wall, I yep. guess, when it wets the sheetrock. So that all has to come out. That's mold, and yes. that's really bad for you to be breathing in. So remember earlier today you were telling me about your friend who stopped by with her great bright red Camaro? I love her. Yeah? Well look what I found. I found a photo album and look at this banner that says Camaro. <laughs> Is that you? Yes. So oh. you had a Camaro. Yes, I did. Hers is new though. That was back then. Yeah. That was, that was a few years old, but yeah. Yeah. That was before the bad stuff happened to yeah. me, and that kind of melted me so, down. So, so in, in well, look, old, oh, looky here. That's my niece, Suzanne. Okay. Yeah, I love that. Was my very first car. Well, here you go. Here's your here's your <laughs> banner. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah, Every really single welcome. one of you. You're Every welcome. single one of you. I couldn't have done this on my own because in the beginning I caught magic. I thought, I can do this on my own. No, I couldn't. Well, we jump started. So you got this. Yeah, okay? I have to maintain it and, and then you keep can. it better and better. You will. There oh, this you is go. Nice. Yeah, this is called getting my life back. It's fabulous. And then the worst part is when you look how much stuff is in those three humongous things. Wow. When I found what you were finding, I'm like, oh, thank God, they are looking close. So if they did run across that necklace, they would have found it. They wouldn't be just shucking something. Have it. They are looking in with it. So you're that good that you're fast, but you can also look in detail, yes, but do it in a fast manner. Yes, ma'am. I think they're saying in cat language, thank you very much. <laughs> you're very welcome. This is Fiona. Uh, we're back at the hoarding giveaway house. This is day three. She had mentioned over the weekend how she had two bunches of keys that were missing. So this morning, I actually went dumpster diving and was able to find the two bunches of keys, which was exactly how she explained them and where she said they were gonna be. Uh, also found a little bit more cash in the trash as well. So she was super happy about that. So today we're just cleaning walls, floor, 
trying to get the house together a bit more. There's still a lot in there, but it's not how it was. Stuff on the walls is pretty caked on, so it's taking a lot of arm strength. So we actually have a new chemical that we're using, uh, Vital Oxide, I believe it's called. We're using that as well as some shockwave back and forth. Helps with the odor, helps uh, to get the stains off. It's more aggressive as in stain removal, but not aggressive as in like a lot of chemical. Um, so far it's working out really well. As I'm scrubbing this, the paint's coming off, but it is dry down there. Like, let me show you here. So this has all been scrubbed already once. Um, this has already been sprayed and scrubbed once. So you can see that it's been on here so long. It really takes a lot to get it off. Like this right here, I think is gonna be mold. That's definitely mold coming from, this could be coming from the inside. Something else that I found in here too is that apparently some of the animals are trying to get out a window. Mm -hmm. So they have scratch marks on the wall where they're trying to escape. I feel like I've been on, you know, ones that's pretty bad, you know, worse than this. This is, you know, this is a pretty bad one. It seems like everything is just stacked on top of everything as of right now. And, you know, we're just trying to do our due diligence to help out as much as possible, you know, just to satisfy her. Whatever we can do, we're glad to assist. Thank you, Fatty. Bro, you're welcome, though. Oh, yeah, there you go. I got an extreme close-up on you now. Yeah, and for all of you Pokemon oh people God. out there, kid lost, you know how I feel about y'all. Yeah. The steam might help get it out, like on the in between. The steaming will help with that. Yeah. But right now we just scrubbing. That's how you know if you really clean good. Yeah. If you yourself will walk barefoot oh, yeah. or sit down on whatever you're cleaning, then you know you've cleaned it good exactly. enough. Now, if Laura will walk or sit on it, that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> I, would make love. I, would, I would make love on that bathroom floor. Too. For free? Uh, you can't promise that. Okay, okay. okay. We're getting yeah. there. I'm a hot commodity. You know? <laughs> what else? This is all worth it. You have people experienced that know what they're doing that can coach you and get everything right so you can start like in the right place you need to be. It's amazing the difference it makes. It makes you feel calmer, makes you happier. I heard we, you... we found your keys. Oh my God, yes. And I, I had looked and looked and looked. And so she's the hero today because that was a big deal. All right, so we're back at Hollis's house just to follow up, see how she's doing, check on her see how the inside is if it's back to where it was well not literally back to where it was but in the progress to go back or if she's kind of kept it so we'll see how it goes oh my god that thing we had tons of you over usf and everything when they were doing the film career thing when they were doing the they were always running around because they were that was their thing in the arts they were doing the um, film thing that's what i did <laughs> for two of a kind hollis <laughs> I did, I majored in art, I'm no good at it, so I don't know. Nah, that's not oh, true. So I've seen your We've art. We've seen your art, yeah. yeah. It's no good, but there's people over there so talented, that's a beautiful place to go to. <laughs> a great art department, too. So what's going on? And I look like, hell, I'm in there like pulling through that stuff. I'm going through to get the rest of that stuff that came out of storage, because uh -huh. I want to clear that whole room in there. Uh, we were just talking by to see how you're doing. I'm cutting your grass today. Thank you. So. That would we'll be get that out of the way. At first, I was upset, not off the junk being taken out, but they took some stuff that wasn't junk and they didn't realize it because I told them don't touch anything over there. Mm -hmm. And they and I peeked in a couple times and there, but someone else intervened and then picked that stuff and put in. That's how the purse got put in. Okay. Well, there was other stuff besides that that wasn't supposed to go, but the purse was the most important. Thank you again, God bless you, because I don't think anyone else could have done that. You got that. <laughs> That six cents thing going. So as I'm looking at this and all the stuff that has to be done and all that, it's just, I mean, now I'm glad what was done, 
because I realized, especially like how bad my back hurts going through the stuff I was bothered, I realized there's no way I could have handled it by myself no. or even with a couple of people helping me. Can we can we look? Can yeah, we the see? cat the cats. We won't let because. the cats out. How are the cats doing? Are they been they've been more comfortable? Oh God, they're happy as can be. I bet yeah. they've got room to roam now. You know that silly commercial where you have the cat like doing flips and stuff like that. But that's not how these were. They're like, oh, this is fabulous. They probably sent our. Uh, uh, cards out. Thank you, cards with a little paw print. <laughs> little paw print. <laughs> That's cute. He got the old man's dog next door, and I had the that old man was. I got this nativity thing out. I'm gonna pack it away. As we finish the stuff that has to be finished, how I place them, that that they're still safe and can be watched, and nobody can do anything. Okay. And that has to be cleaned, I know, but when I pulled up, wherever it was at, and I pulled it out, there was no way to go outside with the hose thing at all. And it probably smells like a cat in here, because... Because those cats. Yeah. The litter helps a lot. It's really good litter. And the food that they uh, that you guys had to, that was dropped off... Yes. I don't think they'll ever go back to what I feed them again. And I feed them pretty good stuff. That food is awesome. I mean, they are in love with it. So I'm hoping by the end of the day, all this whole thing is completely out of here and then the whole dining room's spare. That's awesome. Finding it and going through it, I just found a new bag of cat food money that was in the tote. <laughs> so I'll put that aside for them when I go up to get it. So other than that, the rest of the stuff is junk to go in of that particular tote. So I'm hoping by the end of the day, I would like this all to be clear in here. I know there's a cat smell still because that father cat, um, I don't know what his deal is with the thing, but this still has a lot of work to do. And but at least it's doable because it's to the point where something can be done with it. You have room now. Yes, there's so. room for people to move around to get more stuff out. And you can actually open the doors all the way. Yes. And you know who loves it even more than I do? The cats. Yes. I feel so guilty because I didn't think of how it affected them. Yeah. And they are so happy. And a lot of their bad behavior went away because, you know, they like to stretch out in the windowsill, look outside and watch the birds come to the bird bath or the back thing. And they're content with it. And I realized how much I had, like, closed off everything in my life and everything and there's no so they're enjoying the heck out of it they don't cause too much trouble because they like to sit in the window cells on yeah. so you're able to let them out of the cages and stuff now and oh have yeah them walk yeah. around the house yes that's good so they got run of that they just can't do that because when there's people on the door one of them's gonna make a run for sure it. sure how does it feel not to have the spiders i know apparently there was a lot of them yes ma'am a lot was an understatement <laughs> I've never been surrounded by so many spiders in my life. There was one that showed up. I guess there was a straggler that made it. The cat zeroed in on him, and he was trying to think, and I was like, and he was more significant than these little tiny things that are skin, super skin. Yeah. And the cat moved back. So then I had to intervene and do something, or the cat's going to knock the lamp over and everything trying to get the thing, and I was like, I thought, was there more of those in the back? Because I didn't go back here that much. There was, a, there was those bunches of keys. That she was freaking out about with her purse. Uh, I found them. Yeah, they're med, they're medco keys too. That's the moral for that. No one can pick a lock, so yeah. it wasn't like it was just keys. Yeah, and it, it was like big bundles of keys, like it was legit. It wasn't just like regular set of keys, but we found them, and she was like the happiest. Yeah, because the medco thing's a big deal. But the best um, part of it is the cats are so happy they don't know what to do with themselves. I bet because they like the view and they take their they take their thing which window they could be at. That's sweet. <laughs> Poor yeah. little things. <laughs> Just organize. Try and find a place for what you're keeping. Like if this room is gonna be the room for your artwork, put all your art stuff in this room. Like kind of designate each room. Okay. And that'll be the easiest way. Actually, I don't know why I pursued art because I have no talent. You had to see the stuff. So I, I have seen it. Right. I, 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 I've seen all of probably that. Probably most of that was when the instructor was helping. And <laughs> <laughs> so I need to get more out of here. I need to get more stuff organized and and clump it like what state, what's bedroom stuff or the living room stuff and all like that. And You'll kind of hear me outside because I'm gonna. It's gonna take me a minute to cut the grass. If you leave this stuff, it's just gonna keep building up. Yes, yeah. and it will. You need to get it out. Right. Paul's his backyard. 
is mode. It's, uh, it's a lot bigger than I was expecting, to be honest with you. Or better, bigger than I realized. Thank God for riding low mode because a push mode would take forever on this. It kind of gives you a view right here. Just need a little bit of trimming of the bushes and it should be good to go. But everything's like organized now. Trimmed up the front yard as well. So there we have it. That citation's down, she's good to go. You know, I thought uh, January 4th, we're back to work and I thought it'd be a good time to go check on Hollis and uh, see how she's doing, the house is doing, and how the animals are doing. So we're gonna head over there and do a surprise visit. It's January 4th and I wanted to come and check on Hollis and the house and all this good stuff. We mowed the lawn for her and it looks fantastic outside. Um, it looks like there's some landscaping that's been done, so that's great. Um, not sure what's going on with this cage, but let's hope she's home so we can get an idea of what the house looks like inside, so. Hey, Hollis, it's Laura. You wanna come in? Oh my Hi. God. Hi, how are you? I don't want one of them to run out. They're pissed off at me because they want to eat. How you doing? Uh, I got my, okay. which got cut off today. Yeah, it should be the electric that's still on. Well, can we come name. in? I wanna take yeah, a look. Don't, don't let a kitty no, cat run out. Okay, try to act normal. Okay. No, not you, them. <laughs> so act like them. And I'm going through this stuff, and no, I, that's not normally like that. I just dumped out a hefty bag so I could go through it, pull through it, make sure nothing else was in, and then put it in this right here. I've been going through and just dumping it. Do you have enough food for them? Uh, she brought me something. I've got that bag, partial bag of that. I think what I... And then I've got this other... The litter box? Doesn't yeah, I think... Look like you're keeping up with this, that. Yeah, that food that she brought, the cats completely were crazy for it. They Good. love it. It doesn't look like you're keeping up on the, the litter boxes. Well, that had got put in yesterday. Okay. So they've used Everybody that. Is, and there's more litter. I know I gotta scoop those out yeah. this morning. Okay, so the That's electric right, is off. That's why, because I was panicking, because then when it gets nighttime, I can't do anything, because the whole house will be blacked out. It's okay. electric. Remember all that money I found for you? Yes. Can you pay your electric bill with that? Where'd you put it? I gave it to you. Remember it was in that bag. It's like $4,000. Okay, I need to look through that because I remember you telling me the other day remember a couple it was days in a ago. Purse. Okay, and when I looked at that, was it a lot of ones also? It was a lot of everything. Is this where you're sleeping? For now. Okay. Is this the only food you have right here? Or do you have, you have your freezer food still, right? I don't know what's in the freezer right now. I have to look over so there. what are you eating? That. I this put stuff? It, like, okay, so what I'll do is I'll call Christine and see if I can get more food for the cats and more food for you. Situation. Well, without you electricity, though, you're going to have to eat that cold. Yeah, I didn't know the electricity thing was going to happen. She told me for $150. Well, you've got to find that cash that I found for you because you've yes. got to pay that bill. Did you get a letter today about the electric? Yeah, he just gave me the hang tag. Where did I put it? Let me see this. 20815. So I think she told me for 100 or 150. Well, if you give me, back you on. have the money though. So if you give me the 208, I'll go pay it for okay, you. Okay, hang on just a second. Now you were protecting that that's money. I want to make sure that you didn't go. I don't think so because you've got a lot of cash that I found. For I know you. that's what I'm worried about. While I was worried about it being with me, he knows about it too. For some time now, there is someone coming in this house at night. Uh -huh. For real, he can back me up. It's worse than even what I'm saying. I don't want to get into it on camera right now. It's on a criminal level that will blow your mind when you get told what's going on, and he can back me up. <laughs> Him too. They probably watch it all and like, don't, don't do that to our mother. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that I have done. Damn, is, that's it. D double okay. check through the thing. The only thing I have done out of that is Aldi. And, oh, and a bag of cat food. Aldi okay. doesn't have cat you, food, but I went up and got get more groceries. And I got their um their so, one little thing. I'm gonna take. 20815 out of here and I'm gonna what turn it. What worried your... me was when I looked at that it all looks like one. It does. Where the hell's the rest of it? Where did the ones come from? Well there was a lot of ones, but Well maybe it's in the middle. You wanna sit when we pull a chair out and you can sit and wait, where's the rest of the cash? That's what I'm wondering because I haven't touched it. Let me make one more thing clear, even though it's on camera. There is no one that comes in here 
even before y'all are the scene, there's no one in here but me and the cats. And then when he lived next door, he didn't even come over. I went over and are talked to sure him. Are you sure you didn't spend it? I'm positive. There was four grand here. That's, now there's maybe Yeah, that's where when I went into my bag, I got, because there's, the, oh, there's, if the camera wasn't on, there's more I could say. Before y'all enter the scene sometime back, there was really weird stuff going on, and I was going to him next door and showing him different stuff that was showing up on me, bruises and stuff like that. And so we were putting stuff together. I had a stranger come up to me in the store to tell me what was going on in this house because they were made aware that I didn't know what was going on and to let me know what was going on. That bad. You gonna ask me why? I don't know. Well, you spent 50 bucks. Okay, you got eggs, stuffing mix, coffee, baby wipes, party cups, cola, bread. Okay, so you spent 50. You paid cash, so that's good. And the other part I wanna make out? You got 10 bucks, that's it. The other thing was, before I go do that. Do what? Like I had to pick that stuff up. I go in and pull out what I guesstimate I'm gonna need and take it out ahead of time and have it loose on me. I don't ever do this You know what I think you did? I think that you hid the money. No. Because you were worried about it. No. And I think it's around here somewhere. I'm hoping you're right, but I wouldn't have taken it out of this. Yeah, but listen, I found it all over the place, hiding, so. That was a different time era. When y'all had this, I never did anything except with that store thing. I took it out because at night when I'm in here, there's people coming in here, I know for a fact. When I leave, there's her coming in here with her son's off, so I would never leave it behind. So the only other one I have, so that I've got the old brown one, I've got this. Open them. Yeah, take a look through them and double check behind me because I was so spazzed out. Well, let me see if I can call Christine and get some services, but there's no way you spent $3,000 worth of cash. Of course not. So it's here somewhere. The only thing I have emblazoned with the thing is July 5th, this past July 5th. This time instead of sleeping like this, I was sleeping over here where I could keep an ear on this. Yeah. All the, okay, so something woke me up and I think it was about 3 a.m. No, it was 5 a.m. It was about 5 a.m. It was not daylight yet. And I hear male voices and they're real loud. I'm having a continuous thing done with me and it's people I don't know. There's a thing behind it I want to get into now. It's something to do with the property thing and all that. So I hear these loud voices, and I'm like, wow, they're so loud and rowdy tonight. Instead of tearing my house out, they sound like they're in the house. Right about then, he comes through the back door of that back room. This guy, he's familiar looking. I know I've seen him in the neighborhood. He's young like him, and he comes through. He's not old or anything. And he's coming to the hallway still talking to the one in back and yucking it up and coming down the hallway. And I'm like, and I'm laying here, and my whole life flashed before my eyes because I knew there was no way. I thought, if I go out the door, how do I know there's nothing? I was like, oh my God. And I look at, and he freaked out worse than me when he's midway about to where the bathroom door is, and our eyes made contact, and he realized I was laying, but my head was up, and I was looking at him. I think he crapped in his pants. I'm over at Hollis's. Um, she can't find any of the money. She's got about $78 left, and her electric just got shut off. Yeah, she thinks someone stole it. I just didn't know if you had any services or anything. I mean, she's got some canned food here that she's eating. Um, the cats, I think, are on the very end of the food. I think we have to get some intensive resources here. She's hallucinating. She thinks people broke in, putting drugs in her. She needs some help. Yeah, she's just mentally not there, and... Uh, I just, I'm worried for her. Paranoid schizophrenic, there's no question. I mean, I don't think you need a degree for that, to diagnose that. Well, that's what the therapist was trying to sign her up for and she wouldn't let her do it then. But I think she might do it now. Yeah, it's maybe Meals on Wheels. Is there any way she can qualify for a caseworker? She's not 65, so she's got 78 bucks left out of 4,000. I think she was paranoid and she hid it. I think she hid it in the house and she doesn't remember where it is. There's like six cats that are still in the cages. The others are roaming. The smell is to high heaven in there. There's got to be some mental health resources here because this is going south really fast. She thinks that people are trying to kill her. She's saying that they are injecting her with drugs, with hypodermic needles. Unfortunately, we couldn't do the full extent that we normally do. Uh, we called animal resources out here to take a look at the animals. 
they said because that they were fed and they didn't look malnourished and they weren't being mistreated that we had to leave them here. Then you have an adult that's not 65 yet that clearly has mental health issues and because she's not 65, there's literally no support for her, which is heartbreaking. This is a heartbreaking situation because there's literally nothing we can do. I don't even know how to get her help, so I was just on the phone with code enforcement and uh, they're gonna call 211 and see if we can get some resources for her because uh, she doesn't qualify for, for the Division of Aging, so maybe there's something else that, that can help her. But the smell of ammonia in there, it's back. Um, the cats are still in the cages. The litter boxes aren't being kept up, despite the fact that the city donated litter and food. So at least they have that. Um, she's got canned food there, but now she has no electricity. So she literally just has to eat it out of a can. I'm hoping that there's something else we can do, but I, I just don't know don't know what else we can do. This is, this is just one of those situations where I'm maybe gonna attempt to try to find some uh, family uh, that might step up and, and help her, but she's, she's just terrified of everyone. She thinks everyone is after her, so. If this is her sister, this is awesome. I'm not gonna tell her because she's gonna get all bent out of shape about it, but uh, maybe this is the only Sharon in Tampa with that last name. So I'm really hoping it's her. Yeah, I mean, this country does a really shitty job of taking care of people with mental illness, especially veterans. You get insurance if you're over 65. If you're under, you're shit out of luck. You don't get anything. You don't get any mental health coverage. And if you do, it's extremely limited. It's like three free sessions or something like that. Well, someone with a severe problem like this, three free sessions is like putting a Band-Aid on an amputee. That's nothing. That's not gonna help her at all. So, um, I'm going to see if I can get her cell phone number so I can check on her here. Or a baggie. I'm going to have you oh, call me. Yeah, that makes sense. They're, even back when mom was alive and mom told me she was mad at me, she goes blankety blank, she's cussed me, she goes, I've been telling you over and over listen, again, listen. there's we, people coming in this house I get night. it. We have to talk about what's going on right now, not yeah, the past. But what's now is what she was telling me about back then. Who do I go to? What do I do about well, that? Well, hopefully we're going to talk to Christine and see what we can get. Oh, this is bizarre shit. Maybe you can get somebody to talk to about it. What, you mean like you think I'm crazy? He's no. a witness next door to Maybe it. you should make a police report. I thought about that, but then what do you have for any proof? Because I'm sure they didn't leave finger in it. Oh, like when the one went out the thing, I started to. I was on the fence. Maybe you should make a police report about the missing money. The, that I would have to. You're absolutely positive. Will you do me one favor? Mm -hmm. Will you go through all of them and sure. see that I didn't pick it up? Here's four of them that stay Just together. Hand it one at a time. All these stay together at all times. And here's five. Tw here's money. Here's more money. Look at all that. How much you got? Hang on. I'm shaking so hard. I can't eat. Here. You're not shaking as hard as me. 35. 40 bucks right here. So you should keep that with the rest of the money. 80, 91. Okay, you, I think you have close to enough here for your electric bill. The really big deal is that. Here. And when I went ahead up to the store the other All day. All together, see? Yes. You've got to let these animals have fresh air. Well, these can't be out because the house I'm talking about, you know why you don't see animals in here? Ask I know, Elden. I know the story, but He's I'm the talking animal about killer. the chicken. I'm he talking killed his about the dog, chicken. he killed their dog. He's part of the reason why they moved away over on the other side. They I know, but that chicken I've, needs to come out. And I know the chicken never comes out in here because there's no chicken poop on the floor. No, why would I let her run around on the floor? You don't, an animal like that. She's sitting in her own excrement right now. I cleaned the cage yesterday. That's her green stuff I'm giving. I'm giving it's poop too. Look well, at it. Well, I cleaned it yesterday and she flipped it. locked. It's a uh, steel cut oats. I she her, eats that? No, she loves it. I was giving her like wheat bread because the wheat's more nutritious. That's what she's flipping everywhere. She likes it. Apparently it's good. She's acting like it is the only meal she's ever had. <sighs> I'll give her some more. See now. No, she's blind to one. She's really old. She's blind, yeah. She can't do anything though. She's just in this tiny cage. 
need to pay close attention to how long these animals are in these cages. Two? Yeah, that I've got one in the bedroom in there and one right here. You have to have water and food in their cages at all times. I know that. I've had to catch. every time I've come in here, there's no water and food. This guy has nothing. This guy has nothing. We've got to put water and food in here. Look at their right. Dying. When you came up, I was in the process. They'd wet the bottom. I have to take them out. I understand. Wipe it out, and then put their four food. times, and they've never had water and food. Because I guess it's at that time of day when you stop by that I haven't done the stuff that I need to do, and then it gets. Let's to do it now. Okay. Give them some food. Look, this one hasn't stopped drinking. That's. Cats usually don't drink a lot of water. They're extremely dehydrated. I don't use the disposable plates anymore. I use the ones where I have to wash them up from the last feeding. And I usually do that before I feed them. I'm not I mean, I'm just saying a large quantity. What about one or two cats? I knew this is what, because this is what she threatened me with over and over and over and over and over. How she's going to get even with me. Well, that's not me. I'm just concerned for the well-being of the animals. So am I. I love them. I know you do, but it's a lot. That's like me taking on 50 cats in my house. I couldn't take care of them. It doesn't matter what your good intentions are. You can't keep up with that. Well, I guess if I didn't have them to take care of, I'd sleep all day. I'd be sleeping all day and all night. There'd be nothing to do. Oh, there's plenty to do in life. If it was out here, they love the food she brought. They like the smell of it. Even the one I buy, the pet uh, Purina one, and they would tear into it. Yeah, well, maybe that means they're hungry. No, when I fed them out, I gave them plenty. Look, they were done. See, they're all coming around now. They're all starving. Hold on, hold on. Come on, put it on here. Put that. No, put it. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. More food. More food. Come on. Give me another one. Don't knock it down. They're eating like they're starving to death. I Here. feed them every day. I, I don't disagree with that, but what I'm saying is they're not eating enough. Give them a plate. I'm missing some plate. Ravaging hard. All everyone. Oh, That's plate three. <laughs> huh? That's plate three. Those two are over. Well, let me or let me taxi. see if I can make some calls, okay? Okay. All right. I'll be in touch, Alice. Okay, thank you. Do you have a, a couple seconds? I have a couple questions for you. Okay, so remember uh, Hollis. That, okay, so I just left her house. I was checking on her. Her paranoid schizophrenia is out of control. So is there any mental health resources for someone like her? Because she's not 65. Good afternoon, Adult Protective Services. This is Betty. How may I help you? Hi, Betty. My name is Mariah. I'm calling from Spalding Beacon. So we, we did like a hoarding um, service a couple of weeks ago. Our client, she is not doing too well. Um, she's a paranoid schizophrenic. Um, she has animals in the home. Her, teeth, her electric went out and we're just looking to see if someone could come out and assist her or what steps we should take. Um, for someone to come out and help her because she's in a very vulnerable state right now. Is there a case on her already? Um, I'm not exactly. Somebody called a case in on for somebody to go out there and check on her and make sure she's okay and everything. So we are our CEO um, and some technicians went out there today. Like if she's not capable of taking care of herself, you know, it's called self neglect, where you know you can't clean up after yourself and you can't, you know cook and you can't give yourself your pills and stuff like that that's self-neglect okay you cannot take care of yourself that call needs to go into what we call our abuse hotline this is the department of children and families florida abuse hotline Hello, thank you. Hi, Jessica. Um, I got your number from Betty from the Florida Department of Children and Families. Um, so basically, I'm calling on um, behalf of a client that our company serviced. I'm calling from Spalding Decon. So we were wondering um, what steps that you guys could take to kind of help her. Okay, I gotcha. So I have a few questions for you, um, you know, regarding your guys' client and regarding her situation due to her, uh, you know, being in that vulnerable state that you had mentioned. Mm -hmm.
Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode. For more information, visit any of our locations.